dear vtu seventh semester students i welcome you all into my channel hope you are all doing well so finally i am with the passing package series again for you students so today i am with the subject big data analytics for csc stream students seventh semester subject code is uh, 21 cs uh, 71 so let us discuss here some super important questions for you students uh, model wise i will discuss over here from model 1 we have uh, some super important questions like define big data explain the classification of big data also write down characteristics of big data right next we have define uh, scalability and its types along with uh, examples it may be seven marks or eight marks question next we have with the neat diagram explain the function of each of the five layers in big data architecture design this may be the 10 marks question so next we have discussed the evolution of big data highlight big data analytics applications with one case study next we have briefly described the three fundamental services offered by cloud computing and list the features of grid computing how does it differ from clusters and cloud computing next we have why is uh, data quality important in discovering new knowledge and decision making and how does a berkeley data analytics stack help in analytics tasks so these are eight questions from the model first which you have to cover so these questions uh, should be at your utmost priority so go through these eight questions first then uh, if uh, anything left from your syllabus copy it is according to your own convenience so next we have model second where you have to cover what is hdfs highlight the important design features of the hdfs and with a neat diagram explain hadoop man components and ecosystem components next we have bring out the concepts of the hdfs block replication with an example explain any two hdfs commands with example next discuss the apache scoop import and export methods with need diagrams and explain the working of the hadoop map reduce framework explain the working of hadoop execution model that is yarn model you can also say that next we have write short notes on flume hadoop tool hdfs safe mode rake awareness and name mode high availability last question from the model second is demonstrate any six edge based commands with outputs this is all about model second these are frequently asked questions in the VTU examination so make sure you will not neglect these super important questions next is model third explain about no sql data store and its characteristics describe the principle of working of the cap theorem and next is discuss no sql data architecture pattern with an example and a fourth question we are having here explain four different ways for handling big data problems this is super important question uh, from the 18 scheme which is continuously asking this particular question so fifth question we are having here with neat diagrams explain the following for shared nothing architecture for big data tasks number one is single server model sharing a very large databases and uh, mastering slave distribution model and peer-to-peer -peer distribution model and last three questions from third model uh, that is explain mongodb with its features compare and contrast rdbms and mongo db databases and next we have define key value store with example what are the advantages and typical use of key value store and list the pros and cons of distribution using sharding right right so this is all about model third now coming to the model four where we are having uh, describe the map tasks reduce tasks and map reduce execution process and describe the hive architecture and its characteristics and uh, demonstrate the big architecture for scripts data flow and processing and uh, differentiate between pig and map reduce most important question give industrial applications for each discuss the significance of apache pig in hadoop explain with return type and syntax the hive built-in functions and explain how integration and workflow steps involved with the diagram last we have here last two questions that is explained with respect to high uql high uql data definition language dtl and dml that is data manipulation language next we have using uh, high uql for the uh, following create a table with a partition add a rename and drop a partition to the table right so these are all about model four questions now coming to the last model model fifth explain the simple linear regression analysis 
define multiple regressions write down the examples involved in define multiple regressions write down the examples involved in forecasting and optimization in a regression explain with an example a priori algorithm to evaluate candidate key and uh, third question we are having uh, with a neat diagram write the steps in key means clustering explain the purpose of web usage analytics and the significance of web graphs fifth question we are having sub parts here that may be seven marks six marks or five marks discuss the different phases of text mining process write a short note on text mining and web mining and discuss three phases for web usage mining and what are outliers describe the reasons for the presence of outliers in a relationship and how the clicks discover communities from social network analysis define a page rank also this may be the three or four marks question and define the term social network explain social network as graphs with centralities ranking and anomaly detection so these are all super important questions from all the modules right if somebody wants to score they have to definitely go for all the modules those who want to pass they can go through three modules thoroughly okay so they have to study each and every part of the syllabus copy from those three modules if somebody wants to only pass but seventh semester it, it is just like a key for your uh, boosting a cgpa okay so in your mind this thing should be there that you have to upgrade your cgpa now in seventh and eighth semester you can get easily more than 8.5 cgpa surely if you are spending uh, the time wisely if you are just investing your energy this time so i wish you all the best for your examinations I wish uh, you will score more than 80 to 90 marks in this particular subject and hopefully you will do that. So this is all about today's video. Make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates. Thank you.